Hello Heavy Metal Ladies and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as I promised, I'm doing my mask collection video. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload, and welcome. So my mask collection, I have quite a few masks, quite a few masks. Now I implore you, please, please, stop buying these ghastly horrible things okay i only have this because i have to wear them to work i have to wear them at work we are not allowed to wear reusable masks we have to wear the ones that the hospital provide us which are horrible they're scratchy they give me acne they're uh, to be honest i think they're worse than useless because you just breathe all the hot air out the sides anyway and they are so so bad for the environment i keep seeing them littered all over shop car parks they're horrible so if you have to use them put them in the bin and if you can buy a reusable mask it's so much better for the environment you can buy them from a, a little business a small business and support a small business or you can make one yourself please 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 stop buying disposable masks it's such a waste such a waste okay that out the way let's get on to the masks so the first mask that i wanted to show you weirdly i got at london edge before COVID had happened, before, you know, we were talking about this, this virus that, you know, that was going on in China, but none of us had any inkling that it was going to come, become what it has. This is by Sea Dragon Studios. I got gifted this free at London Edge. And I remember thinking at the time, when am I ever going to wear this? Well, if you want to be disco sparkly down at the shops, Sea Dragon Studios have got you covered. I mean, it's that kind of Lurex stuff that they make like leotards out of, so it's got a bit of stretch to it. It's shiny, shiny. It's got a basic elastic, you know, ear things. It's it's fairly comfortable, you know, it looks pretty cool. That is my Sea Dragon Studio mask. I, you know, I don't wear it that often. It's a little bling bling for me, but it's it's a cool mask and I enjoy owning it. This is the Necessary Evil masks. These are $3.99 from Kate's Clothing, or you can get them free if you spend $39.99 or more and don't use any discount codes or any other offers. These are made from 100% recycled, I want to say polypropylene. I might be wrong, I'll put up there what it is. These are cool, they're really soft. Um, you can just adjust the straps here. I've put little knots in the top to stop them, you know, so that they bunch up nicely. As you can see, it's very cute. I like the fact that it says Necessary Evil across the front. I like the fact that it's recycled. It's very soft on your face. I am not a huge fan of these ones that are just a strip and then elastic on the sides. I prefer the more shaped ones. This one is very comfortable. The only thing I find is because it's made of this, this polypropylene stuff, if you're not careful and you just get the positioning of it wrong, if I'm then running down to the school to pick my son up, you breathe in heavily and it sucks to your nose and I feel like I'm going to suffocate so I have to be very careful to position it so that it is sat on my nose but not covering my nostrils because where it's not breathable like some of the other ones that I have you just feel like somebody's suddenly suffocating you <laughs> so but for 3.99 it's a great little mask it pops into the you know your handbag nicely I, you know, I really like it. It's, it's cooler because all the, my other ones are lined, whereas this is just a single layer. So it depends what you want out of a mask, but for a little four pound mask, can't beat that. Really, really love that. Okay, so the next ones, they are some Killstar masks that I ordered. Now it is the Killstar skeleton masks. Now I ordered one for me and one for Heavy Metal Hubby. So this is how they originally came. Turns out I hate them when they tie around the back of the head because I have long hair. You know, I always have my hair down, so to tie them around the back, I've either got to try and section my hair up to do it, or put my hair in a ponytail, or tie it over. So I, it turns out I'm not a big fan of these. I think if you've got short hair, these are great, and they probably stay up really nicely, but when you've got long hair, it just you end up tying your hair into it, or your hair just gets in the way. So sadly, I'm not a big fan of the style, but... I realised I have a sewing kit, I have some elastic, so I modified it. I 
snip the straps as you can see you've got a strap at the top here and a strap at the bottom there I snipped the straps and I sewed a little bit of stretchy elastic in between. Turns out I've not quite sewn enough elastic in and it makes it a little bit tight. So I am gonna unpick my stitching, put a slightly longer piece of elastic in and do it again. But it's very difficult to tell how tight the elastic needs to be when you're doing it. So, cause I tried pinning it and I was like, oh yeah, this is fine, this is fine. But obviously I'd allowed a little bit more than I thought. So I'm gonna redo these, but I mean, it took me 10 minutes. I literally was sat in front of the TV and I did it. It was really easy because where this is like a tube of material, I just snipped it and stuffed the elastic in and sewed up the end. It's now much cooler. I also took one of these nasty, nasty disposable masks from work. This is why I have these, is because I brought a couple of them home. These have, as you can see, nose wires. Now you could use those, you know, the metal tie tags that you get when you buy food bags but these have got like a softer coating on on the little piece of metal and I snipped a hole here just a teeny tiny hole I inserted the nose thing in I got it to the right point and then I did loads of stitches up and down to stop it being able to shift out of place because this sits over my nose I found it crushed the end of my nose to get it done up I and I'm just not a fan of having my nose squished Whereas this, because it's shaped, it sits much better on my face. So as you can see, look. I still find it squashes the end of my nose. Turns out I'm just not a big fan of what I would call the flat face masks. I definitely prefer something that is shaped with a seam down the middle. And the rest of my masks have a shaped seam down the middle so these are all from wild mode so I'm going to give a special mention to my children's masks so my kids have these that Deb's made for them I, I messaged her and said that they needed masks at the time she didn't have catered for children's listings so she just said what do they like and I said well my son likes aliens and dinosaurs and scary things and he likes lego and all those sort of things and so she made these look one half is aliens and one half is dinosaurs which is amazing they're all lined in this lovely red fleece with these stretchy elasticated ear ear what do you call them? Ear hooks? Ear hooks, I'm going to call them. That's what we're going to refer to them as, ear hooks. My daughter, I said she's a little goth, but she also likes to be princessy and she likes unicorns and she loves mermaids. And so look what she did. She made one half, which is that it's okay to be goth and like rainbows. And the other half is the, I think it was a princess print that she had. It's got, this is Ariel. Well, I think it's an Ariel copy. And she made these for both the kids, which is absolutely amazing. And then if you saw my last video where I got a bunch of stuff from Wild Mode, I will link it up there and down in the description. She also, bless her, without telling me, made the kids these little masks here from the Design Without Eyes fabric that the amazing Katrin Macabre designed. This is called the Classically Horrific Design it's really cool, really cool. I love it, it's got all the different monsters on it and stuff like that. You can also get pants, etc. I've got so many other Wild Mode videos. Go check out Wild Mode. Fantastic company, again, another fantastic small business. Go support the little team there. Everything's made in Dundee. Excellent company. But, my masks. So, the first mask that I ordered is the Walking Dead fabric. So I have Walking Dead pants. Uh, which she made for me. Well, they're, they're like boxer shorts. They're my modesty shorts that I wear under short skirts, etc. And she made me a matching Walking Dead mask. Very, very cool. Again, red lining. Suits me down to the ground. Love, love, love this mask. She also made me a red leopard print one to go with one of my red leopard print matching sets that I have of the comfort tops and pants. You can't, I'm afraid, get this one. I think she basically made this out of the leg holes of some <laughs> leftover material that she had. This is a fantastic mask. I really love this. It's very, very bright though for me. I wear this when I'm feeling, having a very red day, a very confident day. The next mask that I have is the Goth Crosses mask that I ordered in my last video. 
It's so cool. It's got these like black and red crosses all over them with little blood splatter. Very Halloween themed, very Halloween themed. And the last mask is the Gothic webs mask, which I love this. What's really sad is that me and Heavy Metal Hubby have loads of matching masks. We have matching Necessary Evil masks. We have matching Killstar masks. We have matching Walking Dead masks. And we have matching <laughs> spiderweb masks too. <laughs> we definitely like to match in a mask. So that is my mask collection. It's not, it's nothing huge compared to my jewelry collection or my shoe collection or my shoe collection. But for a mask, which, you know, in five years time, hopefully, we, hopefully we won't be wearing them anymore then. I suppose maybe if we have a cold, we can, you know, be, be, be a bit more like in Japan, etc., where when you have a cold, you wear a mask to protect your fellow man. I think people are too blinking selfish to do that though. But you know what? I think I'm going to do that because I've got them all now and I'm going to keep wearing them. But at the moment, you know, when you hit that supermarket, I look effing cool. <laughs> so... <laughs> So that is my mask collection. Let me know what masks you have. I would love to hear all about it down in the comments section below. I love hearing all of you talk to me, telling me what you've got. If you have any of these, if you're thinking of buying any of these, feel free to ask me any questions. I am happy to help you. I know that Exo Umbra does some amazing masks. Uh, hers are the tie back ones. Where obviously she has short hair. So I think for her, that suits her. I um denied about getting them, but I knew that I'd end up having to modify them, so it was kind of pointless. But the design is beautiful. I love the design. She does these really cool, like, zigzaggy things with the um, overlocker. Really, really awesome. Go check out Exo Umbra. And there's a video up here of some of an Exo Umbra haul I did a little while ago. But remember to like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload. And remember, people, stay heavy.